Do you have any advice for people who are looking forward to um, voice acting or any advice for people looking into the voice acting business? I'd say be an actor first. I think a lot of people try to get into the voice acting industry thinking that it's just like, I can do cool voices. But especially for video game and animation, you ha I mean, you really need to develop a character and in order to do that, you know how to act. So, I mean, and acting in any form, you know, doing theater, that opportunity, you're doing film or anything like that. Just taking classes, just try to develop and hone your craft as an actor and it will help you immensely in your voice acting. Absolutely. I would second that, like it all hands in the air. The other thing too is it's a business. Treat it like a business. Take nothing personally. You go into those audition rooms to give something, not to get something. And you stand by your work. You stand by what you see. Now, that being said, the minute someone gives you direction, you do exactly what they say. Learn to become facile. It's it, it, people telling, you know, you thought the character was this way when you go in the to audition and someone says, no, it's this. Don't go, oh, no, no. You go, oh, okay, great, let's do it. And switch it up and be a thousand percent that and walk and walk out of that room clean. Thank you guys. This is great. Lovely to see you. And leave. It's over. It's done. You might get to do that job again and they'll pay you. But your job is to show up and there is no such thing. Hear me, people. There is no such thing as competition. We are all equally skilled. We can all do this job. It's about which one happens to be right at this point in time for this job. So create a community of cooperation, not competition. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Um, this question is uh, kind of towards Mark. Um, in Mass Effect 2, you, there, you could uh, say that it was your favorite store on the Citadel. Yes. Um, could you just say that in front of the crowd for everyone? Sure, sure. Uh, would, what would you like to say is my favorite thing on the Citadel? Like, uh, so Momo like I'm Commander Shepard in this Oh, Momo Sure, yeah. Okay, Momo is my favorite happen. convention on the Citadel? Yes. Okay. I'm Commander Shepard, and MomoCon is my favorite convention on the Citadel. <laughs> sort of noise and I was a huge fan of Zelda so um, but I'm a few I'm a huge fan of Zelda so I'm really used to those sorts of like those sorts of things and that's not appropriate for anime so like I he like the director would constantly have to coax me down into this area and eventually it just started sounding really dirty <laughs> And he and it, it was Tony Oliver who worked on Power Rangers, and he and he said the same thing that he told the Power Rangers guys, where it was like, if it sounds like you're in a really rough porn, you're doing it right. <laughs> Shoot me now. You know, I want to add something actually to what you were talking about. It's not we're lucky because we get to be the faces of the games and stuff, but really the people to thank even more are the writers. Because they wrote those things, you have the power to write. That's the great thing about writing. You don't have to have someone hire you. You can just go home and do it right now. Go sit in the corner of the room and do it right now. <laughs> Writers make the world go round. So do anybody out there, do it. Write, write, write. Now, now tell your part story. Oh, God, hell no. <laughs> okay, I was singing. I could wear headphones. I didn't know anyone else could hear. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, when you're singing and they record you, your 
you're hearing all the music tracks on your phones, you're like, yeah, I'm freaking out. And what they have in the booth is this. <laughs> Did you have something else to say? Um, but you guys put the voices to the faces, and it's your inflections, it's your reactions, the way that you say it that makes it just come alive. And that's just what I find so great about and voice actors. Thank you. And I do actually have an embarrassing story real quick. Um, how many of you are familiar with Aquarium? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a mech show. And whenever we merge, we make very questionable noises. Um, it essentially sounds like we're, you know, having a great time in the sack. And when I did that show, my brother started engineering oh, no. at Funimation. Oh, no. <laughs> and that just happened to be the show they decided to put him on, which we are both convinced was only to be jerks. <laughs> and not because they just had to have him in that booth. They were just being jerks. So yeah. I, I do have a non fart related embarrassing story. Uh, uh, during the uh, sound effects uh, and, and, and voices for Mass Effect, uh, they would generally save that to the end of the day because it was essentially, it was just like screeching and yelling. And so you just say, we put that at the end of the session. Uh, and uh, at one point, I was, you know, I get fairly into it when I'm doing the board show. I was like, ah, ah, and, and you know, doing the dialogue. And I kind of had my eyes closed while I was doing it. And we use a, a system called Veda where you've got your lines coming up on a computer screen in front of you. And uh, when I opened my eyes after I finished the line, there was like, just like a big boogie that had been forked up, <laughs> like out of my throat without me noticing, but it was just like sliding down. <laughs> and I had to, you know, just tell the guys in the sound section, it's like, uh, Patrick, we need to screen wipe it here. You know, like, just, even something, like I tried to just wipe it away, but it was like smeared it. Ah. Uh, okay. No, I need a wet one, the clean edges. See, that reminds me, this doesn't embarrass me, because frankly, not much embarrasses me anymore, but I was working on detours, and I'm playing a character. Uh, well, okay, let's just say I had a towel in this hand, my script is here, and a glass of water in this hand. Look like that was like it. And I'm covered in fluid and liquid, and there's spit everywhere, all over the script. 